Well, Costa Azul lakes are usually found within about two miles of the, in our case, the Gulf of Mexico. And they're formed in between sand dunes, essentially, and they've become lakes. Each one has its own watershed, which is the area that drains into the lake. So they're fed by groundwater and by springs and groundwater seepage, and then also by tributaries such as creeks and streams. They receive water from higher in the watershed. Also, stormwater falls into the lake. We drop them into the water. CBA is the Choctahatchee Basin Alliance, and we're part of Northwest Florida State College, which has recently changed from Okaloosa Walton College. And we're a nonprofit environmental organization. Our interest is in sustaining and responsibly utilizing the resources, the water resources of the Choctahatchee Basin. We do a lot of public education. We also do a lot of shoreline restoration projects. Uh, we have research projects on the Choctahatchee Bay, on the coastal dune lakes in South Walton County, um, somewhat up the Choctahatchee River. And we also do monthly sampling for total nitrogen, total phosphorus, and chlorophyll, as well as basic water chemistry parameters on over 150 stations throughout our watershed, throughout Okaloosa and Walton counties. One of the first things that you notice when you're out on a coastal dune lake is the very dark tannic water that we have. And a lot of people think that it's dirty, but it actually is tannic acid that causes the water to be dark, similar to the Blackwater River that we have in this area. It's a very common feature around here. And what it is, the tannic acid is actually something that leaches from the dissolved organic matter, uh, leaves, dead bugs, broken trees that uh, fall on the ground and into the water. And that comes down from the tributaries and the streams that fall into the lake. We are very concerned with storm water. That's a real hot button issue nowadays. That's another reason that wetlands are important because more square footage of plants that you have, they actually can treat storm water before it runs into our surface waters. And that's important because stormwater generally does drain straight into our surface waters. And if that water is not treated before that, it will dirty our surface waters and eventually it might not be treated before it goes into our groundwater either, which of course becomes our drinking water. The lakes have almost their own flood control system. What happens is when they get to a certain level, they actually break through the sand and empty into the Gulf of Mexico. And for that reason, they maintain a balance between salt and fresh water. So they're typically a brackish water. And they also have groundwater seepage from the Gulf side. So they maintain some salt in them. Um, depending on their hydrologic gradient, they maintain some salt even during times when Gulf water is not flowing into the lake, they receive that through the groundwater. Definitely need to stress how important our volunteers and our partnerships are. Choctahatchee Basin Alliance has five full-time staff members and three part-time staff members. And nearly all of our monitoring that we do is done by volunteers. Uh, a lot of the restoration events that we do, the planting that we do, um, cleanups that we do are completely volunteer supported. Uh, we certainly couldn't exist or fulfill our mission without the help of all of our volunteers. We have about 75 volunteers who do the monthly sampling that we accomplish. We have a lot of partners, including local municipalities, as well as other uh, local nonprofits, such as the South Walton Community Council. And we've worked with the city of Fort Walton Beach and with Walton County. We also help to educate the municipal staff on best management practices for construction. Gosh, these wetlands are so important to 
our not just our enjoyment but really to our survival they perform very important ecological functions and especially when we as coastal residents we have to value the wetlands because they filter our water they store a lot of water and they protect us from storms so they're absolutely essential to us